Ten Hag brings in new coaches to mentally examine the Manchester United players and see if they've got the mental strength and toughness to play for Manchester United. He also brings in new coaches to examine nutrition, sleeping pattern and more. Chelsea are in for Garnacho and testing the waters with Alejandro Garnacho, but it's unlikely that he'd leave Manchester United to go to Chelsea. If he leaves United, he would likely go abroad as well as Manchester United's big plans for strikers we know that United wants a striker and even if we get Gapo in January we do know in the summer United will be going for a striker as well they believe they need two attackers what is Romano said on Cody Gakpo, but also Vlahovic and Goncalo Ramos to Manchester United news of United preparing a big, big offer to bring in one of the star strikers in 2023 as Tenark has massive rebuild plans in 2023. So hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and welcome back to another video on the channel where we're talking about all the latest Manchester United news, transfer news and updates that came out late last night and early this morning and look I am aware I look rough this morning, I feel very rough, it was my friend's 21st birthday last night and I'm on about two hours sleep but we do have a lot of Man United news and info to get into, I want to talk about Tenar bringing in the psychologist and then I'm going to dive into the transfer news. But I want to get right into this first story. So do hit that like button and do subscribe if you're new because we will be live 6.45pm tonight, people. It was said that Eric Tenar called on coaches to help his players deal with any psychological problems. And Talent Academy Group sports psychologists are present at least twice a week to offer advice for those who want it. So Tenar's been calling on psychologists people to help the squad if they have any problems. Now, I think the Jayla Sancho situation might have something to do with the reasoning behind this. Obviously, it's very common for football teams to bring psychologists in and stuff. But I think there's obviously something going on with Jayla Sancho. And I think it hints is towards Jayla Sancho's mental health not being good and family issues not being good and he's struggling. And I think that's why Jayla Sancho is in the Netherlands, training alone off social media. And I think Tenog is a bit concerned about Sancho. I think the fact that he's letting him train in the Netherlands until he's fit, mentally ready to train with United it is a smart move from Ten Hag. I think he's dealing with the Sancho situation well, but I think he's bringing in a psychologist because he wants to help all of his players make sure they're all mentally ready. Because with, we know if if a player's not mentally ready, if a player's not in the right mental state, they won't perform on the pitch. When Rashford was unhappy off the pitch, my body was awful on the pitch. You know, when Rashford was unhappy at United, he wasn't running. The vibe wasn't good. Rashford came back, he was happy. And when he was on the pitch, you could see it. You know, happiness, confidence, being mentally there has a massive impact on how you play on the pitch. Sancho, his last two or three games just looked lost. Like, looked like he wouldn't even do anything on the ball for United. He was really, really poor. That Chelsea game, he was unbelievably poor. And you just knew that something wasn't right when you watched Sancho play. You just knew, no, that's not the Sancho I know. Like, that's not the Dortmund Sancho. And I think, you know, we know there's family issues, the mental health issues there. But Ten Hag bringing in a psychologist to check on all his players, which is a very smart move from Ten Hag. It was also said that Man United have hired psychologist Rainer Kors to observe their training sessions. He was recommended by Ten Hag and Kors described himself as a life coach who guides people who get stuck in their lives due to major events. And it was said that United staff also met with staff from the Tour de France winners team Jumbo Visma to discuss nutrition and sleeping patterns. So United bringing in, obviously, top psychologists to talk to players, make sure players are there, deal with players and their issues, if there's any mental issues. But they're also examining players, examining their sleeping pattern, their nutrition passion, just examining if players are mentally okay to play for United, which is very smart from Ten Hag. Not only is he like making sure the players are okay, but he's doing a few little exams, making sure they're okay to play, making sure they're mentally and physically ready to play for United, because we know that Ten Hag said that Jadon Sancho is not quite mentally and physically ready to play for United, but also getting people in to look at the diet and um, so diet and sleeping patterns and nutrition of players. Again, it's very important to keep them in check as well. We know there was issues with a certain player that we shall not name um, because he's no longer here at United, but, you know, who, who had sleeping patterns and stayed up quite late playing Xbox and stuff. You know, that is a problem that a lot of young players have. I don't know if anyone on the current squad has that problem, but that's, again, something that maybe Tenag wants to sort out. But let's dive into the transfer news. Let's dive into the general Manchester United news. And let's start on with the Garnacho to Chelsea news. So it was said that Chelsea have recently asked representatives, representatives of Garnacho about his current situation. 
And we're informed that Garnacho's intention as of now is to re-sign with United, which is good news that Garnacho's intention is to re-sign with United. We know that there's like a new contract with Garnacho that's like 99% done, but it's not 100% done. We just need to agree on the way for it to be 100% done. We know Real Madrid, we know a lot of teams abroad, we know Chelsea have shown interest in Garnacho, but they're saying his intention is to re-sign with United. And if he was to leave United, it would be abroad. But we know Chelsea would love Garnacho. Very interested in the player, very interested in the situation, but I don't think Garnacho would leave us to, for Chelsea, but I think Chelsea obviously are interested in Garnacho. But what's going on in the transfer front? We will talk about the main man, Cody Gakpo, because I think if United are going to sign anyone in, in January, it's Cody Gakpo. Apparently it could happen early January. I think this is a deal that could massively heat up soon. We know that United are back in talks. We know United are the favourites. And I've always said with Gapo, I think it depends on the price. Fabrizio Romano has come and spoken about Gapo to United and what's going on currently as of now. And Fabrizio Romano said that Manchester United remain interested in Cody Gapo. They're in contact with his agents. Now it's about the budget and how United wants to invest in January. So Romano said, we like Gapo. We're interested in Gapo. We're in contact with the agent. There's things going on, but he said it's about the budget. So, I, you know, for Richard Romano confirmant, we all know United want Gapo, Tenar wants Gapo, Gapo wants to move. Do United have the budget to make it happen? I think, you know, there's rumours of us making a 50 million bid. Um, I think we have 43 million pounds, which is 50 million euros. I don't think we have 50 million pounds. I don't, it depends for me. If PSV are like, yeah, we'll get, we're upset 50 million euros, I think we can get it. If PSV are asking for 60, 70 million euros, then yeah, I think that Manchester United would struggle. Fabrizio Romano also spoke about goalkeepers. He said Emmy Martinez could be part of a domino effect with goalkeepers next summer, maybe with United and Chelsea. We know Manu and Chelsea looking for new goalies next summer. We've looked at Simone, we've looked at Diogo Costa. I don't think we get Emmy Martinez. I think that we'll look for someone a little bit a level above. But, you know, reportedly there could be a big market for goalkeepers. And I think there could be a big January, not January, summer market for goalkeepers. A lot of teams looking to change goalies. And we know that, you know, the reports that came in two days ago that Ten Hag wasn't interested in giving Terry a new contract. But it's very looking very obvious that Man United want a new goalkeeper in summer. There was news that Barcelona and for Diego Delo, but him staying at United and signing a new contract seems most likely but what else came out reports in spain not spain reports in italy came out linking duzan vlahovic to manchester united reports in italy said that arsenal and manchester united are both reportedly pushing juventus um uh, but the syria side are demanding a crazy offer and that united and arsenal very much like vlahovic kind of pushing juventus over a vlahovic deal but Vla you know juventus have high demands now do I think United went for Vlahovic this January? No. Do I think United would like Vlahovic this January? Yes. Do I think United have probably inquired about Vlahovic's price? Yes. Do you think? Do I think United could afford Vlahovic? No. I think United and Arsenal and other teams are interested in Vlahovic. I think he'll be for sale in summer 2023. I don't think he'll go anywhere in January. And I think United will make a push for the move and see if they can get him cheaper than Juventus asking price because that's what clubs do. I think that if Vlahovic is going to happen, it will be in the summer. Another player that I think would, is likely to happen in the summer, but we have been linked with January move from Goncalo Ramos. It was said that Benfica joined the John Duran race as Manchester United stalk Ramos. And basically, a news report's coming out saying that, you know, Benfica are very much looking at a new striker, bringing a new striker in, which is a hint and, su and suggestion that this could be because United could make a move for Goncalo Ramos. It was said, according to Portuguese Outlook Record, the player has caught the eye of Benfica, referring to John Duran, uh, with the English trio already having inquired about Duran back in October. It was said, however, the real story here is likely to involve Goncalo Ramos in some way, with the Portuguese giants seeing Duran as a possible replacement for the striker, and we know that he's been linked to United, but it looks like Benfica are looking for a possible replacement very early on. We know he's got a release clause, no way United will play that release clause, but we know that we were linked to him before the World Cup. Obviously, he scored that brilliant hat-trick in the World Cup, but United have been linked to Goncalo Ramos long before the World Cup, kept an eye on him, and I do think this summer, that's one to keep an eye on. I think, you know, Oshmin will be very, very expensive and hard, Vlahovic, there'll be a lot of competition and we don't know if he'd leave Juventus for United. Goncalo Ramos is one of probably the more obtainable striker targets in summer. And Benfica very much looking at options already. And look, I like Goncalo Ramos. I'd also like Enzo Fernandes from Benfica. And United's second priority after striker is reportedly midfield. But look, people, I will be live tonight with a news and update show. So please do smash that like button and subscribe down below for new. Let me know your thoughts on the news. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And... Bye. And I do want to apologise if I stumbled or 
a bit sleepy again i am focusing on about two hours sleep so i do apologize if anything was unclear